He's here. Oh, no! Okay, now don't get excited! Oh, uh, let's just say I'm the cleaning woman. I'll dust the table, give me five dollars, and I'll leave. You just stay here. <laughs> and smile, you're irresistible when you do. And finish your martini. Do you have a lot of these? As many as you need. I'm gonna need a lot of these. Can I open the door? Oh, wait a minute. Mother, your hair is back. What? Is there something wrong with my hair? There's all right, I fixed it. Paul, is there something the matter with my hair? <laughs> There's a man standing outside the door. Wait a minute, Paul. Mother, there's just one thing I would like to suggest for tonight. Just try and go along with everything. What do you mean? Where are we going? I don't know where we're going, but wherever it is, just relax and be one of the fellas. One of what fellas? Yeah. Me, don't worry about your stomach. Oh, my stomach. <laughs> Can I please open the door now? Okay, okay, open it. Glasgow, sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, what's Yeah. No, it's Paul. Oh, I know. I was just saying hello in Chinese. Holy Ramashenga. Well, what does that mean? Ramashenga, that would be English. Uh, uh, Paul, would you do the honors? Of course. Uh, Mr. Velasco, I would like you to meet Corey's mother, Mrs. Banks. Mom, this is our new neighbor, Mr. Velasco. Uh, how do you do? Mrs. Banks. I have been looking forward so to meeting you. You know, I invite your daughter to my cocktail party and she spends the entire evening talking of nothing but you. Oh, well, that must have been a dull party. Oh, not the least. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, if she did nothing but talk about me, that must have been dull, not the party. I understand. Is that for us? Uh, yes, I couldn't get the wine. My credit stopped. So, instead, <laughs> can we see? Can we see? Oh, it's an hors d'oeuvre, Mother. Mr. Velasco makes them. He's a famous gourmet. Oh, gourmet, imagine. Yes, he's won second prize last year at the Venice Food Festival. Second prize? Mr. Velasco was cooked for the King of Sweden. Really? Did you work for him? Oh, no. We belong to the same club. Oh, the same club. It's, it's, a, it's a gourmet society. Uh, there's about 150 of us. Oh, gourmet. Uh, that includes the King, uh, Prince Philip, and Daryl Zanuck. Daryl Zanuck, yes, too. Yes, you know, once. Every five years, we meet for a very special meal that we cook ourselves. In 1987, we are supposed to come to my house. <laughs> ah, we have another 30 seconds. Until what? Until the end. And then, for the last 15 seconds, we just sit there and let them breathe. Well, they look wonderful. Oh, when you take a bite out of this, you are taking a bite out of history. You know, Kenichi is over 2,000 years old. Well, not this particular batch, of course. <laughs> We've got it is punishable by a cold salad at the dinner, but uh, since I'm among friends, it's a bit of salted fish, uh, grated olives, spices, and onion biscuits. Ah, ready? Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Mrs. Banks. Oh, thank you. What kind of fish? Eel. 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 <laughs> oh, that's why the time element is so essential. Eel spoils rapidly. Mrs. Banks, you're not eating. My throat's a little dry. Maybe if I finish my martini. Oh, no, 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 no. That may never do. Uh, the temperature of Kenichi is very important. Uh, it must be now, in five minutes. We throw it all away. Oh, well, I wouldn't want you to do that. Uh, pop it. I beg your pardon. Well, if you nibble it, Kenichi, it tastes bitter. Uh, you must pop it. Yeah, let me show
I don't want to try another one besides it's past the five minute point now anyway. You're not tasting something that must be cultivated. Oh, yes, I, I've often said that. Are we ready to go to dinner? You mean we're going out? We had a fire in our stove. What happened? We turned it on. <laughs> Are you hungry, Mother? Uh, not terribly, no. Paul, you're the host of Guessing Place. Okay, um... How about uh, Marty's on 48th? <laughs> Marty's? That barn? He got a cow and a baked potato. What kind of a suggestion was that? I'm sorry, I didn't know it was a trick question. <laughs> Tonight has to be something special. Mr. Velasco, do you know someplace different and unusual? Unusual? Yes, I know a very unusual place. Now, oh, there's the best food in New York, but uh, I am somewhat hesitant to suggest. Oh, please. What do you say, Mother? Are you feeling adventurous? You know me, one of the fellows. <laughs> We place the evening in your hands. Oh, a delightful proposition. For dinner, we go to the Four Winds. Oh, the Chinese restaurant, 52nd. No, the Albanian restaurant on Staten Island. Oh, no. Doesn't it sound wild, Mother? Yes, wild. I love it already. Well, now, don't expect anything lavish in the way of decor, but Uzu will take care of the atmosphere. Yes, Uzu. Oh, it's a Greek liquor. It's deceptively powerful. I'll only allow you one. Sounds great. Are we ready? It's going to be murder getting a cab now. Oh, I don't worry about the transportation. All you have to do is pick up the check. Mother has a car. <laughs> ah, you see? My work here is done. This is best. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Velasco, don't you wear a coat? Oh, only for winter. But it's 35. Oh, for 25, I wear a coat. For 35? <laughs> ready? All right, my group stay close to me. If anyone gets lost, we will meet at the United States Embassy. What are you looking for? My gloves. You don't need gloves. It's only 35. That's right, I forgot. We're having a heat wave. <laughs>